Hello viewers, welcome to Adbandhan YouTube channel. I am Mohamad Shohan Rahman Shohan with you. In this video, now I am showing you what is more dangerous, AC current or DC current. If you are new to my channel, please be subscribed and stay with me. Press the bell icon for more my video if you already subscribed. Thank you so much. So viewers, let's start. AC or DC, which is dangerous? AC is more serial killer as AC with less frequency 50 Hz in EU and 60 Hz in US is more dangerous than the DC having the same level of voltage. In the other words, 230 AC volt or 120 AC is more dangerous than 230 DC or 120 DC respectively. But keep in mind that DC has the ability to roast you. For example, if you say AC is more dangerous, it does not mean that DC will only play with you. Stay away and don't trust both. AC voltage and current with low frequency, for example 50 Hz or 60 Hz is more dangerous than AC with higher frequency, say 50 or 60 Hz. Same is the case, for example AC current and voltage are 3 to 5 times more dangerous than DC having the same level of voltage. In case of DC voltage and current, it causes a single convalency construction a jerky and uncontrolled process in which muscles become shorted and tighter which push the victim away from the DC current or voltage source they trust. In cases of AC voltage and currents it cause tetany a condition marked by intermittent muscular spams or extended muscles constructed which leads freezing the victim on parts of the body touching the AC voltage or current source. Due to the alternating nature behavior of AC it causes the heart's pacemaker neurons into a train fibrillation which is more dangerous than DC when cardiac stand still due to the ventricular fibrillation occurs in the case of electric shock in the case there is a better chance for frozen hearts to get back on the normal track and compared to fibrillation hearts caused by AC. In this case, defibrillation equipment which supplies DC unit to halt the fibrillation and bring back the hearts the normal condition are used as emergency medical service. Generally, the final decision depends on multiple factors like human body, resistance, weight or dry skin plus thickness of the skin, weight, sex, age, level of current and voltage frequency etc. If we consider the minimum level of AC and DC voltage 50 volt AC in dry condition and 25 volt in humid and wet place and up to 120 volt DC are considered safe in case the direct or indirect contact with electrical installation the above statement and flowing table show the AC current and voltage are more dangerous than DC. For example, in case of AC the safest limit 50 volt or 25 volt is humidity where in DC the safest limit is 120 volt DC. Same is the case of current for example lower current are needed for the same effect on the human body compared to DC which is low. So viewers that's my video. If you like my video please like and share my video to your friends. Share my video to your all social media. Thanks for watching my video and thanks for being with me. Thank you so much.